Domain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn Villar of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my blog. On this episode of Rain Access Solutions, I'm just going to show you how to integrate or activate the email options in Neustar S100 and incorporate it into that system so it will be able to send you an email notification if something is going on or something is changing within the PBX. Let's start. So as you can see here, we have the settings for the S100. Now we need to add an email to this server itself so it can be able to send us the email. But uh, I'm not going to use an outgoing email here. We're going to use the intranet email so it limits all the jobs within the confinement of our office. So here I'm going to click on the settings. And first, I'm going to click on the extensions and find my phone number. Now that I have my number in here, I'm just going to open it up and let's replace the default email address that was saved in here. So in my case, I don't have an email address yet. So we're going to go on to the other server and create a new email address for that. For that options, we're going to open the RDP to connect to this email server there. By the way, guys, I'm using the HTML server to create an email ecosystem within our local domain. And I have two here. One is I have already created for the PBX use. And I have created the email admin, so the S100 can use this as its own here. So my email address is on the other domain, which is here. There. So what it does is it's going to send an email from this admin to my email. So let's just close it up. And since we already have that email already, now we can add my existing email here. And we're just going to save it up there. So once you have the email address assigned to a particular number, you can always assign email address to other numbers as well. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how I add an email address to my extension number. So let's just go ahead and go to the settings that will allow us to set the email for TS100. Let's go to system settings and go to email. Now, as you can see, the email address options here or the fields are vacant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply and fill it out from the newly created email address, which is the admin at PABX or so. There. And the username should be the same with the email address. We're going to put the password as what I saved it earlier, from what I saved earlier, right? Now, the outgoing SMTP server and POP3 will always be different, depends upon your settings. But for me, I just assigned the IP address and the default 125 and there, in here and save it click apply let's go ahead and click this test here to see if the address that we input was valid and so that s100 can be able to send an email to the user's email address so when you're doing the testing mode i mean testing uh, pace it might take a while 
and as you can see it's generating this all sorts of testing uh, procedures and there you go it's already successfully sent the test email now let's just save it and um, go ahead and find the event center and go to the event settings and look at that my RoboForm is asking me to save the password for this but no I'm just gonna cancel it and here you will be able to see a lot of notification settings that you need to tick or untick depends on your preference so I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of this thing except for the Linux one because we're not going to use Linux in our system GSM registration failure maybe let's just take it take it up CPU overload yes maybe uh, what's this this is the system upgrade yes and all sorts of things here you might want to just tick all of them and later on remove items that are irrelevant to your settings so for me I'm just gonna take uh, take as much options as possible and I'm just gonna close this up now and click on the apply button now I think I haven't set the setting for email let me just go ahead and settings here this are here a notification control let's just click on add and put it I mean get the contact from my number which is the triple five and from here you're gonna select another options and I'm going to choose email and we can just ignore the other things I don't need them actually so here as you can see my email address is already attached to the settings just click on the save button and click on apply and let's go ahead and log out from the server and now okay there you go refresh again and you'll see that there's a notification that we received from the S100 that's it so that's how easy it is to send or the to set the S100 to send us a notification through email addresses so that's it thank you very much guys for watching I hope uh, this I hope that these uh, videos have helped you so if you do find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and thank you very, very much thank you very much for watching have a nice day everyone goodbye